Hi, my name is Mike Kenter. I'm an, this is Joe Murphy. Uh, Joe's the BLS instructor, and we're going to show you how to do uh, a simple sling and a swath. Uh, this is for upper extremity injuries. This can be uh, used for a scapula dislocation. And uh, very simply, um, you need what's called a triangular bandage. Guess why it's called a triangular bandage? And you want to start um, by taking the opposite end to the long side, the corner to opposite the long side, and putting a little knot in that, and just set that aside. You'll also need another swath to use as a cravat across the across the uh, across the arm. Uh, the the station starts with the ever present scene safety BSI. I'm going to come in. I'm going to have my partner hold stabilization of the arm, so you're going to have a partner that holds this arm out in front of the patient like that. Um, and I'm going to check CSNs. I'm checking to see if there's a pulse. Can the patient move his fingers and can he feel me touching? Great. So my partner's still holding stabilization. I'm going to take that cravat uh, that I put the knot in and that knot goes right here at the, at the elbow and that's going to hold the elbow and keep it from sliding down the arm. I want to take one half of this sling, put it up over the shoulder, over my patient's left shoulder and the other half and bring it up over my patient's right shoulder. As I do this, I'm going to come behind my patient and I'm going to tie what's called a surgeon's knot. I'm going to tie it, put it through once, put it through a second time, and I'm going to put a piece of padding under there so that the patient doesn't feel discomfort from the knot. And I'm just going to tighten this. I don't want it super tight, I just want it to support the arm. And I'm going to tie it again to make sure that that locks in place. I'm going to then come around and I'm going to stabilize this arm because I don't want this patient to move. I don't want this arm to be able to move because if he move, if he's able to move this lower arm, it's going to potentially move the bones that are broken up here or dislocated up there in the shoulder and that's a bad thing. So I'm going to take this swath and I'm going to, I'm going to pretty much fold it up into a strip about two inches wide. I'm going to bring it up over, over the injured extremity and I'm going to come down and I'm going to bring it down around and I'm going to catch the wrist. And what that does is it immobilizes that arm right in against the patient's body so that patient can't move the arm at all. It immobilizes the upper half and the lower half. Again, I'm going to take a piece of padding and pad the knot. And when I do this, I specifically want to tie this knot here against the ribs. If I tie it back here, I've got some soft subcutaneous tissue um, that doesn't allow me to get that, that tight. I'm going to do that surgeon's knot again, loop it through once, loop it through a second time, and then I'm going to ask the patient to, in, to, to inhale. And as he inhales, his chest pulls in, I'm going to tighten the knot, and then I'm going to tie it again, and I'm going to ask that patient to exhale. And this, this should be snug. My patient shouldn't be able to move his arm away from his body. Um, and I'm going to make sure that I check CSMs again. I'm going to feel for a pulse. Can you feel me touching? I do. And I'm going to check for capillary refill. And that's it. You have 10 minutes to do this skill. Um, most people finish in on about five or less. That's one of the, that's, and that's uh, the sling and the swath, and that's good for the scapulas back here. I just want to make sure that this is not, that the swath does not go around over the scapula because it would impede on that, um, that broken bone or that dislocated scapula.